Want to turn your horizontal videos into vertical ones for social media? It's super easy and makes your content look great on any platform. In this video I will show you how to do it in Filmora. You will discover a tool that instantly converts horizontal videos into awesome short clips, which I often use for my tutorials. I will also share a fun method for creating popular 3 layer videos and show you how to easily create short videos using customizable templates. So let's get started! First, open Filmora, then click the three dots on the homepage to open the AI toolbox. At the bottom of the screen you will find Auto Reframe tool, click on it and then import your video. This tool is a game changer and will help you turn any horizontal video into a vertical one in seconds. Before using this tool, my video looks like this. On the right side you can select the aspect ratio, for the short form videos you need to use the 9 by 16 format. Below select the motion speed according to your preference, then click analyze and wait for the process to complete. If someone is out of the frame, you can easily adjust it. First, activate the adjust frame option on the right, then select the frame you want to change. After that, position it according to your preference. Repeat this process for each frame you want to change and then you can export the video. Name the video, choose the save location and press export. But that's not all. Enhance your shorts even further with some incredible AI features at your fingertips. Imagine being able to generate custom music that perfectly complements your video with AI Music Generator. First, add your video to the timeline. Go to the Audio tab and then select AI Music Generator. After that, select Mood, Theme and Genre that best suits your video. With this tool you will save time and forget about copyright worries. Next, click on settings and set tempo, duration and generated music count according to your preference. Set the duration to be the same or close to the duration of your video. After that, click on generate and wait for the process to complete. Now, you can choose the music you like to use for your video. Select one you like and then click the plus button to add it to the timeline. Now align it with your video and adjust the volume to your liking. On the right side you can add fade in and fade out to make your music even better. This is what the final result looks like. Now I will show you how I usually use the Auto Reframe tool to turn my horizontal tutorials into vertical ones. You can use this method for any type of video. Right click on your video and then select Auto Reframe. On the right side of the screen adjust all the settings according to your preference and then click on Analyze and wait for the process to complete. Now you need to move the frame every time the mouse cursor moves in the video. Repeat this process until the end of the video. Here is the result of converting the horizontal tutorial to a vertical format. Simply add audio to the timeline, after that click on the AI Audio Stretch button. Now you can easily align the duration of the music with the duration of your video. Now you will learn how to create a popular 3 layer video. First, on Filmora's home page select the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Then click on New Project. Import your video, then go to the Templates tab. Click on Split Screen sub tab and then find Split Screen 5. Now click on the plus button to add it to the timeline. Go to the Media tab, check your video's duration and set the split screen effect to match that length. When I edit my videos, I like to remove borders. You can do it too on the right side of the screen. The next step is to drag your video to where you want it in the split screen effect. Click on your video and then you can enlarge it and position it as you like. Now you can add more videos or images. I will show you how to add AI images. Go to the stock media tab and select the AI image option. Describe here what kind of the photos you want the AI to create. Adjust all the settings and select the style you like. After that click on generate and wait for the process to complete. Now you can download the images you like. After downloading you will find them in the download sub tab. Now drag them to the split screen and position them according to your preference. 
The process is the same if you use videos instead of photos. The next step is to click on the settings button and then align the images with your video. Here you will also find more settings that can make your video even better. When you're done, click the apply button. Here is how my video looks after editing. In the next part of the video, I'll show you how to use templates that you can easily customize. Go to the Templates tab and select the subtab you like. Each subtab has several templates for vertical videos that you can use. For this video, I will use this YouTube intro template. Click on the plus button to add it to the timeline. After that, click here to replace the material. Here you can add your clips. Repeat this until you have replaced all the clips. The next step is to crop the clips. Right click on the clip and then click on the crop clip option. Choose the 9x16 format then position it to your liking. When you're done, click the apply button and then repeat the same process for each clip you've added. You can also easily trim each video according to your preference. The next step is to replace the text in the video. You can do this by clicking on the text tab or by finding the text in the video and clicking on it. Now on the left side you can replace the text. Position it according to your preference and then save. Here is how my video looks after using the template. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. Don't forget to visit the link in the video description to download the latest version of Filmora.